Hello guys, so we continue our uh, lesson for this video. I will cover for the move, okay? So, as you can see uh, in uh, my screen, so I will cover for this one. The, ma the first one is uh, manipulation, second one is a snap, okay? Explode, okay? Uh, so, this one, the last icon, stop manipulate. Uh, I will explain later. Okay, so for this, for the first one is manipulation. Okay, uh, it's for us to manipulate the parts. Okay, let's say you want to move uh, this frame into close into this wheel, eh? and then another part is close to uh, to our wheel. So what we are going to do, we click this uh, icon, and then you can see the manipulation parameter. Eh? So here you can see the X axis, Y axis, Z axis, and also the rotation here. So okay, so I show you for one example. Okay, uh, let's say I want to move this frame. Okay, in the X direction. Eh? So I highlight the X direction, and then okay, sorry, highlight X direction. Okay, I highlight the part, and then I can move into the X direction. So how do you know the the exist the current exist uh, for this frame so you can refer to this uh, global eh? so this uh, global axis here so as you can see here is the x direction okay and then this one into a y direction so if i highlight the y direction this frame will move into this direction eh? so as you can see okay y direction so i cannot go into the X direction, alright. So it's the basic uh, for this uh, manipulation. Okay, you can try yourself for uh, another component. Eh? So let's say for this component, okay, I want to use this drag along any axis. Okay, meaning that if we highlight this one, okay, and then you see the axis here, meaning that the Y axis. So I can move this. A slot square into the y axis okay example this one okay along the x axis okay and then the next one i show you the rotation okay the rotation along x axis okay y axis z, z axis so for this example i show you along x axis okay along x axis then i choose my component so i can rotate the part into the uh, axis okay so let's say if you want to use this one drag around an axis okay so you can choose so you choose which axis so if we if this one is a uh, axis is it you see the global the global axis is x so i click this one proper click eh, into the edge of this screw and then I can rotate. Alright. So this one is for manipulation parameter. Okay, the next one is a snap. Snap one is a very powerful tool for us to to use because why? Okay, I show you. Let's say I want this part okay align with this uh hole. Okay, we want to insert our screw inside this hole, is it? Okay, so what we do, what we are going to do, okay, we need to highlight two axes in order for them to snap together. Okay, firstly click this icon, okay, and then highlight this one. This axis, the center of the screw, and then the center of the hole of the wheel. Okay, so it already aligned. You can see here. Okay, so in order for us to close up the screw into the wheel so what we are going to do okay so we can click the snap features okay we click this one and then we choose the surface that we want to contact okay so in this case i choose the bottom of the screw surface here okay go into this one eh all right so i choose this surface 
so it will snap into contact to this surface so you see the icon here the rectangle the white rectangle near to the arrow show the surface okay so while this one you see the icon near to the arrow become a circle meaning the edges okay the better one we choose uh, for the surface okay so you see the screw become all together into the wheel so the function snap uh, it provide the part to snap into the to get uh, into together into the surface in together eh? if you choose the surface lah. okay so let's see another one okay i want to snap this frame hmm. okay firstly to snap this frame we need to rotate this one first because as we know this one on top of this wheel okay so i try to manipulate this one first so i want to rotate this frame along this one okay, i rotate first okay click ok to maintain the position and then uh, okay i try to snap let's say this surface okay into this surface eh? okay if we align first okay what we need to do is this hole we align into this hole eh? so i try to snap again into this one so if you are difficult to see uh, inside this one you can uh, hide the screw first eh? so the the screw where is the screw sorry this one's bolt okay we hide 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 first okay sorry eh? i go back okay so firstly we hide this bolt and then we align snap we choose snap and then we align this hole into this one okay so if we align all right so you can see like this eh? roughly like this eh? so the idea is uh, know how to use the function this first okay later on we we will put a constraint inside here all right the next one is a uh, explode eh? so explode usually we we use uh once the assembly is complete and then we want to see in the explode view mode so okay i show you the example okay we highlight the icon here okay selection the product okay fixed product so first we need to highlight the fixed product since we not giving any constraint yet so we need to choose the fixed product so let's say this one example eh? so this one is fixed product okay so i try to apply okay the product we already choose this one uh, sorry the product okay apply okay so i okay right Okay, so this is example for the explode view. Alright, okay, that's all for this video. So, see you for the next.